Humpherson and Company was started by my great-grandfather Edward Humpherson in 1876 with two of his sons, Frederick Humpherson and, and William Humpherson. And he started uh, the business then and it continued very successfully up until the death of uh, Frederick. And uh, after the war it uh, it was taken over by my mother, my father joined it, and uh, my brother and I. And uh, we developed it into a, a very successful and very large business with the help of my sons. Family and history are totally interlocked, in, in my case, in my family's case. And I think all of us are proud to have been a five-generation business, still doing exactly the same thing as my great-grandfather. The business, the business took off in 1876. Clearly, the star in the show was Frederick. He had an award from the, uh, the International Inventions Exhibition. Uh, the patron was Queen Victoria, and he was given a bronze medal there. And that exhibition took place in Exhibition Road, where the Science Museum is today. The stand is behind, shows, shown behind me, and you can see the system and the pipe fittings, both of which won awards. Now this is the Beaufort pedestal closet, Frederick's greatest invention, design. It is in one piece and is identical to a pan as you know it today. And he called it the Beaufort. This is the Twyford's 20th century catalogue that was issued in 1901. It is the most remarkable production and the finest sanitary ware catalogue ever made before or since. These now, of course, include washed down closets um, of Frederick Humpherson's design. I do believe that if we can call it a flare uh, for bathrooms and kitchens, uh, I have this, I think it's in the genes, and I think my three sons have it as well. Quite why that is, I don't know. I don't see why something which is so strong in a man like Frederick should not continue down through a family. Hi, I'm Lawrence Pigeon. Um, I started in the family business uh, in the late 1960s um, and um, I have a business now selling kitchens and bathrooms. I'm Michael Pigeon. I joined the family business in the late 60s, a couple of years after Lawrence, and I'm still selling bathrooms and planning them uh, and will be forevermore. Hi, I'm John Pigeon, and this is my bathroom shop. I asked Dad to lend me, while well, I was my school holidays, some money to buy a guitar so I could um, follow my dreams of being a rock star. And he said, no, go to work during your holidays and earn some money. And I've been there ever since. I was still at school, and I had tickets to see a Cream concert, but Dad said, we're having a special launch at, at, at the shop and if you came this week you could be part of that launch and you'd see a lot of people and meet a lot of things so I never went to see Eric Clapton. <laughs> We're rock stars of the bathroom business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember in the plumbing counter they had a ladder with wheels on so you could oh, jump yeah. on it and skate along. skate along. 
great fun. And the warehouse with the burnt out, where the, where the German bomb came through the roof of the warehouse, dropped into a WC pan and burnt itself out because it was a Beaufort pan. Yeah. And, it, and literally there's this black circle on the ceiling, right burnt, yes. all the joists burnt yeah. almost right through, about 10 feet wide, and it saved the building because this German bomb unknowingly fell into a genuine Beaufort pan. Now he never had a gun to our head. Okay, he did, probably. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's true. <laughs> No, he never, he never pushed us to go into it, but I think we could have we never faced the inevitability we, we never of it. We never thought we'd do anything else. Uh, I think it, we, we really, felt, we really us, felt it was kind it of our, our, option, our destiny. I think we really felt that it was something that we were, you know, we had, um, our uncle was also involved. Uh, you know, I can remember my grandmother and her brother being there when I was very, very small. It was, it was, how, it was the family. It was... It was inevitable that it would be what we did and it would, what we would feel good about doing. This description of Frederick's new closet includes these unambiguous words. This closet, unlike the ordinary form of basin, is not cased with woodwork, but forms a solid fixture by itself. The mahogany seat, being hinged, may be lifted, and the basin used for either a slop sink or urinal, and thus a wet seat, which is so objectionable, can be easily avoided. I love that. Yeah. Brilliant. That's good PR, it is. <laughs> Man was a genius. <laughs>